I feel like the stack depends hard on RNG. You're not wrong. We're going to keep both of these. These are literally like two of the best cards to keep in your open hand along with SI Extortion. We're going to trade away this first. We might trade away SI Extortion. I'm not totally sure if I want to do that. The Cutlass is good because it could hit the Concealment. But if it doesn't, that is a big feels bad move. Basically, turn three, we kind of go off though. And we could even coin out Shroud of Concealment maybe. Okay, he gets a 2-2. Two, two. That's interesting for sure. We get a two. Th mm, I don't really like that. We're going to trade that away. Hopefully it goes in the shroud. It goes on the gone fishing, which isn't a terrible choice. It's not a terrible option. You play shroud of concealment turn three and then turn four. We're going for broke. We're going for the nuts. Turn four. We got scabs, which is both good and bad, I would say. It's good because we don't draw off of Edwin anymore, but it's bad because he's kind of a dead card in hand. Same with Krapitoa. But it's, it's not that big of a deal. We're going to play Gone Fishing. Hope that we find the Graveyard or Draka. We drew a Wild Pawn Null. We play this. We draw the other Wild Pawn Null and Maestra. But I really don't think... I'm, I'm down to take two more damage. I really am. I'm 100% down to take two more damage. Boom, boom. This for free. See what we find. I'm not sure yet, but we'll hopefully find something. Hopefully it's like... Uh, a graveyard or Draca. What do you think about the version which isn't running Krabatoa and Scabs but uses Shadow Steps instead? This is the one that Lammy used to get to rank 1 Legend, but I think the one with Shadow Steps is probably good as well, if not better. It could arguably be better. We'll play this and then go Gone Fishing, see if we want a hard commit. We'll take Gone Fishing, we'll play it again. We have one other chance to get a better card here. Okay, we'll trade that away. Because these are actually useless right now, it's kind of disappointing actually. We get Wicked Stab. We'll play the weapon, hit this and pass. We have to hope that we can top deck something insane next turn. We literally, we lost a lot of value there. We lost a lot of value there. We needed to get a big stealth minion or a big weapon. And we could have, we could have gotten one that was upwards of six or seven, if not more. Because we had the coin, we played multiple free things. Well, like, how, how good would that have been? Backstab, two Wild Pawn Nulls, coin, both of the freeze things, plus the actual card itself. Would have been at least a 7 or 8 attack weapon. Or an 8-8 eight, eight, uh, stealth minion. So, the fact that I just drew as poorly as I did feels bad, man. What do we draw? Please, it's possible if I still win, if I still get it this turn. It's still possible. It is still possible if we can draw anything okay this is not gonna be big enough is it oh god wild pawn null backstab oh shit no i shouldn't have played wild pawn null that was a bad play that was a bad that was a big misplay well i guess it wasn't a big misplay but it was a misplay nonetheless we commit to this next turn or maybe we do it after krabatoa i actually don't think the game is over contrary to popular belief i think we could still win the game with a giant weapon off of Draco. We could get something pretty big and then maybe use Scabs and Edwin as like finishers. I don't know. I mean, Krabatoa double trades isn't bad. Krabatoa double trade isn't the worst thing in the world. Krabatoa double trade doesn't suck. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. It definitely kind of sucks. I'm down to take seven to keep an extra to keep extra minions on the board. Okay. Oh my god. We're gonna play a lot of things with Draca and basically just hope we get the absolute nuts. We have the coin. We have two dwarf shadows. We might lose some damage on this. The reason why we did that is because I I I, I don't know. He doesn't have that stealth minion anymore. We got pretty decent stats on board. I don't know. I'm thinking Draca could be big. Scale of Anixia. We give up four damage to try to look for the biggest possible weapon we could imagine here. One, two, three. We actually don't give up four damage. We only give up two. So that's fine. I can even tooth my own dude if I want to, to get um, something after we attack with him, obviously. Fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. Edwin? No, I think this is better. We're gonna go with this. Do we get we get SI extortion? Not a big fan of that. We'll go with the other one. See if we get prep. We do not get prep. Okay. So, um, we are now kind of fucked. 
because the biggest weapon I can get is maybe six. And we lose value on this? Like, that's really bad. I mean, we can get a six attack weapon, I guess, and kill off my own minion, but we lose a tooth off of that, which is definitely not good. We'll go with this for direct damage, I guess, actually. And then we'll go Draca for a 6-3, which is not nearly as big as I was hoping it would be. I mean, if I got a prep there or a serrated bone spike, I'm pretty sure I'm getting at least serrated, serrated, one other thing. I'm getting three more attack each attack if I get serrated or prep. Hell, prep would have given me so much. Prep would have been fucking huge. The only way we can win the game now is if we play scabs to bounce that back to his hand. And then we just have to hope that, like, we have to hope Draca lives. Earth and scales, I don't care. Are you going to earth and scales twice? I, would, I maybe care about that. Okay. Well, that's a lot of damage we have to overcome. Is there a shadow step would be better than scabs and Krabatoa? Look, Krabatoa's fucking nuts. Okay? Krabatoa is insane. Krabatoa is here to stay. Okay? That's, that's final. He overdraws a card as well, which could be cool. We're keeping... Oh my fuck! Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Krabatoa is, is actually insanely good on turn six to help me get the board and it does a ton of damage. Scabs, I could see myself getting rid of for Shadow Step, but in a situation like this, it literally might have just won me the game. Yeah, but the person who originally made this deck and hit rank one legend with it doesn't run it again. That was the nuts. I mean, we've drawn like garbage, but we're hitting the nuts, and that's that's what really matters. Uh, I think I just play Edwin and I go as crazy as possible here. And then if at the end of the turn I can play Draca, I guess I play Draca. Sure, why not? <clears throat> that rope is burning again. Shut up, Gov. You're broken. Okay, we have to go really fast. <laughs> we have to go giga fast. Cut list, that's fine. We go boom, we play Edwin, and we start. What do we draw? Cut list. You know what? Fine, whatever. We'll play it. We want to pump up Edwin as much as possible. This is pretty much useless. I cannot... I cannot believe we are hitting as poorly as we are. Okay, prep is good. Give me the serrated. Backstab, useless. We're going to go bone tooth on you to get a card, and then we're going to backstab. Uh, oh my gosh, wait, ramming mount's actually kind of good here. If we don't get anything better, we'll do that. Uh, we'll go backstab, keep pumping him up. We get this, which is good. I like to see that. Boom. I know the other one's at the bottom. Please give me, like, prep. Oh, give me wicked stab. Damn. Okay, I did not want to see a wicked stab there. Uh, if we, we can't play that. We could play this for eight, but that's not going to be good enough. I guess we wicked stab to get an extra thing. And then we play this. And then we trade one here. Go face. Go face. Prep. Do this. And then hero power because they're running out of time. And pass. We got a 17-17 and 11-11. He doesn't have Denathrius anymore. And then we're able to play basically everything left in my hand next turn and get a big Draco weapon. I am sad that I had to lose the Draco weapon. I guess I could have hit first and taken 10, but I'm kind of low. I don't know if there's a way that he could potentially still burst me with like an Alex Straza play. He's already used one scale of Anixia. He probably has normal Anixia, which would kill it off, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. How many nature spells could he possibly have? You've played a lot of cards already. That gets him two. That's big. We get an 11-11 stealth minion though, which is kind of huge. How many more how many more nature spells do you get is the main question here. Moonbeam? That's arcane. That's not that's not nature. Do I win? Can I win this? He needs to have two more nature spells in his hand. No! Wait, the 4-2 lives? Which might be okay. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, 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 okay. We get the spike. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We do. Boom. Hero power. This goes here. We want to play this as quickly as possible. We want to play this as well. That's like extortion doesn't do anything. You're going to be big. Um, Three, one, one plus you. So we go you on this for big thing. 
and then we go weapon, wicked stab, Draca, hero power. Or not hero power, this. I mean, we could play extortion, but extortion on that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, we're gonna go weapon, wicked stab, Draca, this, these go face. It's another big stealth minion with a seven. Oh, please. I'm not, I didn't have lethal, man, but it's okay. It's fine. Had a pretty lackluster start, but him losing to Nathrius might have just won me the game. The scale of Anixia hurt, but now we have a 7 7 stealth. He's already played both Earth and Scales. He's taken SI, SI Extortion, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We win. Actually, I'm not going to get too excited. I've been cheesed before. I've lost worse odds. I have lost literally 0% chances of losing before. Hits that, it's fine. Even if that dies, we get a 2 2 left over, which isn't bad. He's played a Miracle Growth already. He gets two 3-3 Rush Minions, which is bad, but not terrible. We still have this and several Minions. Like, he has to have one, two. He has to have two more Nature Spells to kill off this, 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 this. And then he also has to have a Taunt. And even if he has a Taunt, this SI Extortion can kill off a 1-3 Taunt. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, wait. He's rushing. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That dragon does nothing for you. Oh, we win. Oh, we did it. I did not think I was going to win this game. It's a dub. It's a dub. We'll kill him with the weapon. That was a stressful game. Okay, so looking at this hand, we want to keep the graveyard and the SI extortion because it's tradable and it can reduce the cost of wild punnel very quickly. While I don't hate drawing scabs, because it does make Edwin defies Kingpin stronger, I do not want to have him in my opening hand. Hopefully I'm able to draw a little bit better, and maybe if we hit turn eight, like, maybe it's useful. I don't know, it probably won't be, but we'll see. Another graveyard, we trade this away. We get Edwin, okay. Our hand is very interesting. Cause into a druid, we want to go for tempo. Tempo is probably the most important thing to go for against Druid. So we can apply that pressure and try to win before they get a ton of ramp and just outscale us. Unfortunately, we don't really have that much draw on hand. We don't have a wild pawn null. And we have scabs, which does not bode super well for me, but it's okay. I think the plan is we want to try to find Shroud, get wild pawn null. And the serrated spike is not bad, to be quite honest. It's pretty good. If we kill off a minion, which we should be able to kill off a small minion, we can make other things cheaper, which is pretty cool. Can you share the deck code? Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. There you go. Give me Shroud. That's a Filet Fighter. That's not Shroud. I think the Wild Pawn Null at this point either costs zero or one. No, it costs one. We can't play the Flay Fighter yet. We want to draw one more card where it's not our main class, and then we can go kind of crazy. Coin Pyre into Stealth Minion was an option to- Yeah, I know that there was an option to go there. I just think Krabatoa got more total stats on there guaranteed than Edwin. Because Edwin could have been good, and I could have gotten him to be like an 8-8, and then a Stealth Minion for like a 4-4. But I could have made him bigger the following turn, and I think I needed the rush to kill off a minion on his board. What's a replacement for scabs? Honestly, you might not even need to run scabs. You could just run, like, another cheap little card. Like, you could probably run a shadow step to shadow step the wild pawn null if you want. That probably works, to be honest. We get prep. We can get two pretty big stealth minions, like two fives. I mean, we can go... One, two, reduce the cost of this, this, play this, and then get them both. I think that probably is best here. Gives away the Nim Rogue, but he already knew the Nim Rogue. Boom. 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 Deal a damage. Hit him. And then these should both get me fives, right? Yeah, okay. Turn four, ten, ten. We can wait and play Edwin the turn that these reactivate. Pretty decent stats on board. I mean, that's the best I can do, honestly. Like, I had to do something. I had to commit to the board in some way. 
And I think next turn it's just gonna be weapon. And then the turn after that it's gonna be Edwin. And then we have to just hope that we don't draw uh Wild Pawn. Or we just have to hope we don't draw the Draca. That would be the worst thing. And also if he gets scale of Anixia, I needed to basically pop off one turn sooner. I mean Wild Pawn Null for free is not bad, but I kinda wanna save it for this for our big play in a little bit. So we'll do that. We have to save the Wild Pawn Null to get plus one plus one stats on each of these at least and be able to trade into something if he ends up like innervating out Miracle Growth. It would be very good. He probably has scale of Anixia, but not sure. I mean, he still has 29 cards in his deck is a lot of cards. It's fairly reasonable to assume he doesn't have scale of Anixia. But I don't know. Haven't logged in for a while. What are the top three decks this patch? Um, excuse me. It's a little bit early to tell, to be quite honest. Oh no, that's not good. I'd probably say like something like Control Shaman. Or um, SI Extortion. I think we do just do this. We have to commit to the board right now. What do we draw? We get the Cutlass, we can play the Cutlass, sure. Pump that up. We get another Cutlass, well, I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> sure. Door of Shadows. I mean, if this gets me prep or backstab, it's pretty big. So we'll do it. We get gone fishing and then tooth. That's not very good, to be honest. Boom. Then we go trade, trade. Then we do boom for a 6-6, six, six, boom for a 6-6. Six, six. These go face. I mean, that wasn't as big of a play as I would have liked, I will be honest. I would have liked to have found maybe a prep or one backstab so I could maybe get some stuff going. But honestly, this is not bad. We got two stealth minions. Topier's down, but he has to have a lot of nature spells for it to really work out. We got a 9-9, nine, nine, a 5-5. Five, five. He's got to trade in multiple times, but I think... So I didn't answer your question. I think Quest Hunter is still really strong. I think Imp Warlock is still really strong. Control Shaman... Um, this Tempo Miracle Rogue deck is also really strong. Um, Big Spell Mage is insanely good. Naga Priest is boring, but good. What else? Those are the main decks that are popping into my head right now. That's GG. I'm hoping it's GG. Still. Flipper Friends. I mean, he's able to kill off a couple of minions here, I think. But even so, we've got at least Tooth. We've got Gone Fishing to maybe see if we find a little bit more damage. If he has another nature spell, okay, he gets to kill off the 5-5, five five, but isn't that still just lethal? Isn't this 12-21 damage? Sick! Got him! Woo! Um, we're going to keep tradable, everything else we want to get rid of. I mean, obviously these cards could end up being good if it ends up being more aggro demon hunter, but I don't think it's going to be an aggressive demon hunter deck. I would not assume that it's aggro demon hunter. Wild Paw Null, pretty decent, we'll trade this away immediately. Krabatoa is fine. We want to try to draw Strata Concealment to draw some cards, though. Golden I think that this... I mean, it could be a rogue itself, actually, because he didn't do anything turn um, one. And a lot of the Demon Hunter decks I've been playing against have been higher cost. I don't really want to play the graveyard yet, so we're just going to pass. I mean, we could wait until turn, like, four and go like this... Then Gone Fishing, a couple of other things, play the Graveyard. Oh no, it actually is Demon Hunter, okay. A Shroud of Concealment is perfect. That literally could not have gone better. We get two Wild Pawn Knolls, and you. We actually don't need to play them. I think the plan is we play them next turn and just rush into both of the two 2-2 two, two taunts. I don't know. We got an Edwin buff, that was wild. True, the wild, the Edwin buff was so weird. Backstab. Um, okay, this is fine. We go Null, then we go Draw and Dredge. What do we get? We can get Prep. Tradable. So we want to go one, two. So that's three more mana. We don't really have the opportunity to play any of these, so we'll just go Cutlass for Tradable a little bit later. Um, then we'll go Other Wild Pawn Null. We'll go Backstab here. Filet Fighter here. Run in, run in. Play this and get a 7-7. Seven, 6-6, seven. Six, six, sorry. My bad, I forgot. It was just a 6-6. Six, six. We also have a tradable here. We have a Wicked Set for some potential damage. We've got Krabatoa for some pretty good damage as well. 
And I don't really think there's that much he can do at this point. He's got nothing on the board. I mean, the maneuvers kill off those, which is good for him. But I still don't know if it's going to be enough, you know? We still have 9 damage on the board, 10 with the weapon minimum. Not to mention, we got you, which is pretty good. Gone fishing? Eh, we can always just play later. We'll do that and hit him, hit him, hit him. Wicked stab to get the most out of our mana here. We can actually go gone fishing. We know what's at the bottom, actually. And I don't think we can really utilize either of them right now, so I'm just gonna pass. Gone fishing is literally free. We can play it whenever. You could have played the location earlier to save mana. No, I couldn't have played the location earlier. Because it would have given away that I was a rogue, and it would have made both of the wild pawn gnolls not get reduced in cost. So it would have been actively like bad for me to do that. Okay, he hits that, takes some extra damage. Coin for five mana to kill the 6-6 six, six in some way. Eye beam, fair enough. Fell barrage, okay. Cool. Nothing to rush into here. But I think it's still worth to play. Like, at the end of the day, it's still pretty good stats out on the board. We're not going to play that, though. Oh, what I could have done. Oh, I could have gone crazy. No, what I should have done was... Oh, I could have gone, gone fishing. Prep. Prep. Play the bone spike. Kill this. Hit him for four. And then get a stealth minion. I actually could have set up... I could have done four more damage guaranteed. Plus this. Wait, that would have been so good. I could have done four more damage guaranteed plus whatever I got off of this. Wait, that's kind of a, a misplay on my part, I guess. I think we try to win the game, like, next turn. Uh, we can maybe play Gone Fishing? No, we're not going to play Gone Fishing yet. We could play Edwin and then Gone Fishing, get a big Edwin going. We could also get a pretty big weapon here. We can get it to be... How much can we get it to be? Boom, so it's, so it's a two, three, four, five, six. We can get it to six? That's not enough to win. So I think I'm just gonna play Maestra, hit him and, and, and pass. We don't have enough to get lethal. You can't always trust what you see. Just hit. I mean, I can get a stealth minion, but I'd rather wait. I mean, I'm probably going to draw a Wicked Stab off of Edwin or the Tooth or something and kill him that way. I'm pretty sure we... He's just going to hit Krabatoa. Whoa! Got him. Hand is actually phenomenal. This hand is probably one of the best hands I could have possibly hoped for. We got two tradables. We've got Wild Pawn Nolan in hand, SI Extortion and Tooth if he ends up being an aggro demon hunter. This is basically perfect. The only way we get screwed over is if he somehow pops off even harder than I could have possibly imagined. We're going to try the SI Extortion first, I believe. Uh, ooh. We're going to trade you first. It reduces the cost of the SI Extortion. Which I'm not sure I'm a fan of. He is going more aggressive deck. I don't think I want to play SI Extortion though. I think I want to trade it even though it costs zero. I guess what I could do is I could ping this. Turn four we go crazy with the graveyard I think. So we'll just ping it for now and pass. Nothing to use the Extortion on. Each scar. Oh, I forgot. That's a 2-2 now. We are going to have to trade the SI Extortion, I believe. Which kind of sucks, because I would have loved, I loved right to have used it. I mean, I guess what we could do is we could play this for 1, and then SI Extortion. Or we could do this, and then just play the Wild Bundle for 1. Which doesn't feel terrible to me. And then hit him. And then, in like a turn or two, you can get a really big stealth minion. I'm trying- uh, I don't know if I should have been like as greedy as possible there or not. Let me think, how would I have done this? What would have been the best thing I could have done? 
So next turn I want to play SI Extortion. I'm really hoping he plays a minion that I can hit with a tooth. And also play Dwarf Shadows. One Infuse. Getting a temporary cop. We're taking too much damage. We can't afford to be this greedy anymore. I'm going to have to stop. Boom. Then it's going to be that for zero. Then it's going to be this for one. We get gone fishing. We'll see what we draw, actually. To be fair, all of these are pretty good, but I think we take Shroud of Concealment to make sure Edwin's a little bit better. And then we're going to go SI Extortion to kill that off. And then we're going to use this and get a 6-6. Six, six. A 5-5? Five, five? I can't count, I guess, apparently. Oh, I counted 6-6 six, because six I thought I was going to use the coin, but then I didn't that turn. That's my bad. Get a 5-5. Five, five. We can play Shroud and Tooth next turn. And basically, in like two turns, once we find Edwin, that's when we go off, I think. We want to play Edwin, turn six, when this is also Gold reactivated, there. so we can get two really big minions. I think that's how we win. Things went to the follow, uh, Cover, Cover, Caviar. Oh my gosh, he's trying to push as much damage as humanly possible right now. This guy's crazy. I think the card he has in his hand is Curtris, which would be nuts. What is it? We get Flay Fighter. That's fine. Shroud. We get Maestra and Krabatoa. I think I would rather just play Maestra, hit face. Okay, I'm at 11. Can he kill me in two turns? Because basically, I win in two turns. The game's over in two turns. I told you he was going to have the freaking Kurtress. I knew. I knew it. I knew it. Krabatoa. I mean, hmm. Krabatoa is actually better here. And I think we don't win in two turns. Well, we win in two turns from now. We kill that off. We go face with these. And then next turn, we get a big stealth minion. And we also get a big Edwin. Next turn. I just need to hope he doesn't have burst. He sends that back into his deck. That's fine. I do not care at all. He does two damage to me. Never mind, I win.